Hi and welcome back to the channel, Toby's Real Life Skills with Toby. In today's video I want to show you how you can connect to your Victron setup with Venus OS and Raspberry Pi. A screen, a display, touch screen. This is, this is a second one which I have. I'm using a different one. I think also a link in the description below is a different one. So what are we going to do? We go through all the commands you need when you have connected your display, your touch screen. Most likely it's a 7 inch screen or something like that. What are the, the commands you need to type in or how does it work that you can use your touchscreen like one of those, Sabo GX, which you can see somewhere here, um, from a Sabo GX, how that works, that it looks similar or even the same, maybe with your setup. So I want you to keep in mind, my setup is different because I disconnected a lot of my components at the moment. So that means uh, you will not see a lot on the display later but um, yours might be totally different. You have way more components were not connected, so it will look totally different than mine. But anyways, besides that, I wanna show you what you need to do. And therefore, I have a video camera pointing right on the display, what I'm using. As mentioned in the description below, that's what I'm using. So if you wanna see if you need the same or have an idea of what you don't wanna buy, don't follow the link or link, follow the link. On the other screen, I will show you on my computer what you need to type in as commands. And to make it very easy for you, I copied all commands in the description as well, starting with number one, and then I think it goes down to number 16. I try to make an order, so that's what I did, and also try to inform you when you have to do a reboot. What you need to do? We need, because I wanted to make it easy, enable SSH, and therefore I have a video, which pops up in the corner up there. I have a video what you should watch before. It's kind of a requirement or a really good help for you. And uh, that's why I can do it on my computer. My Raspberry Pi is connected to Wi-Fi. I know the IP address already and I can connect to it. So that means let's start with it. We'll start with Putty. Right now you can see I have here the IP address. It works and then I have Putty here. And I use the IP address here. I have of course the root user and I have used my password or I given a password which is easy to remember just typed it in as you remember putty does not show when you type in the password but now we see here root at raspberry pi connected that's what we need and that's where we want to start so what you can see here now on the left side the raspberry raspberry pi console on the right side the commands we'll use and they should be pretty much the same um, when I copy them into the uh, description below so you can find them there pretty easy and then we have on top here the uh, remote console as well connected you know just to see if it's still online so what I'm doing now I have already connected my display as you can see here and it's open it's up and running and it is actually this one so you can see it has a resolution of 1024 times 600. Important to remember later. All right, what are we doing now? I'll start copying because um, one other comment. I did already all changes and whatnot. So I hope or I think the outcome on my command console might be different than in yours because I did that already. Um, I didn't want to reset everything, but I changed displays. Um, I'll, I'll get to that later as well. So let's just copy everything and then we'll see how it works. So copy paste the user um, control C and then just continue. It's important that it's connected to the internet because with uh, wget. And it is important to have capitalized and not capitalized otherwise it won't work so I have to change that in my description to make sure everything works properly on your end so the first one here was activate touchscreen then we have the second install backlight overlay copy that right click putty and then starts and it's saved some information here I'm not going into the details here um, but I still try to make it as obvious as possible I collected a lot of information so I hope that's pretty accurate um, if you disagree with something let me know in the comments below. There's always another way, probably. All right, next is the config uh, file, config.txt will not change later. So you get into there, and now you can see here, um, this section I copied in already, and also 
when you go scroll a little more down also here frame buffer width and height height so here we have as mentioned 1024 and 800 and we'll do the same here 1024 800 and then we use control x and then we press y for yes to confirm we're going to save the file and press enter so now when we use the cursor up click again so we should see the change in there yep. there it is there it is as well so control x nothing changed we just got out um, i put in a rotate display as well in case you want to rotate um, the outcome i did not need to do that so i didn't copy this one i only copied here the frame buffer so next one is um, dim and standby display after command send you can go into the console settings uh, display and language and it should appear there which means i did that already when i click on settings scroll down to display language there's a display off time there's not a a bar where I can change that and that's something which I haven't figured out yet why is that I do not know yet so that's something I have to troubleshoot more in detail but um, it didn't bother me yet um, it might be it might bother you uh, when you use it and it's always bright or too bright or whatever so in any case um, we'll use both commands copy put it in press enter the next one do the same copy press enter <clears throat> um, those are the first uh, commands we need to send um, and now in theory when you would go into display and languages here and click on there you should see something if, if you didn't see it before and you should be able to change those settings like I just did display off uh, it might require another reboot maybe but uh, let's just keep it there because I want to go through the entire commands first and then we'll see if it works for you for me i know the outcome already so all right i'll continue with point five update packages that means uh, it should update all existing packages um, when it has access to the internet updated source recipe pi 2 all right and let's continue activate touchscreen and when i say that you see mouse driver which is quite interesting but that's what it is it looks like so just sending this one no package installed or removed that's not that's not a bad sign it just means that it is installed for me because i did all the commands already for you the outcome might be different it might take a little longer to download everything and uh, that's not a big big deal so then we have um four commands in a row i'll just put them in all at once same with the first package second package one two three four yeah but that's good uh, because it was already installed for you as mentioned it should look different that it just installed something and then we need to calibrate touch screen and there's part one and part two we'll do part one first the same as before copy everything paste it in done what are we doing now we type in reboot what happens it will reboot your pi this might take a couple seconds and it looks already dif different than before because we adjusted uh, the actual resolution of the display so you can see here in this display now you can see here on this display there are two uh, victor signs before it was just one and it's back up and running so we'll also press enter there comes an error message i do restart connect with my user password and back up again now we'll continue calibrate part two press enter by the way there's a chance that this one will not work and it says something like ts setup no such file or directory in that case um, what i did with this specific display i swapped out um, the two micro usb connections it has to do it has to do something with uh, which order it's connected and then which usb i guess so um maybe you only have a display touch touch screen display where it's one connection might be way better so anyways now you can see um, there is something on the screen so we'll do the calibration now with this display all right we've done that 
Um, just keep the display as it is at the moment. It's not a problem that it doesn't show everything, I guess. So now we'll continue adding a couple lines. So when I open this one, we need to copy all those lines. And as you can see, there is a when head full. And right underneath those comment section, that's where you want to paste it. So here, here it is already. I paste it already in. So I can change something to change. I want to save it with Y, confirm, enter, yes, done. And now we need to activate the GUI basically. So we'll copy the turn on GUI command. There's also a turn off GUI command just to make it easier. Um, that's the only way how you can activate that it looks like a servo GX. That means I'll hit enter and I will reboot. And I'll please pay attention to the display when it comes back online. It's right behind me, that's why I'm looking there. It's starting. Nice. All right. So I'll reconnect also my console over here because when I click in my remote console at the moment, no touch or whatever, I should be able to see everything on the display as well, what I do there. It's nice. So I'm going over using my finger so you can see how it works. And just the heads up. I'm not super happy with this display because it lacks in communication with the touch screen, it feels like. So I'll show you. Oh, didn't work. Oh, didn't work. I want to go to the settings. Oh, didn't work. It it just lacks so much. Oh shit! All right, I'll try one more time. It's pretty slow here as well. And you didn't work. <sighs> oh, that's exactly what I meant. So I tested the exact same with my other display. Uh, where did I put it? This one has a lower resolution, just one USB, micro USB cable. Yeah, micro USB and HDMI, obviously. It worked better. This one is worn out, so I, I don't use it. I will order another one. We'll test it with the other one because I'm not happy with how the touch is really lagging and it's just doing what it wants to do. So my recommendation to you guys is for sure, try to figure out if you want to keep it <laughs> and if you're right one. Um, I'll do a little more research to try to find a better one and we'll make a follow-up video, I guess, um, just to make sure that um, the best possible product we can use. And I also am aware of, um, you could even use little bigger touchscreens. So guys, that was the video about how to activate a touchscreen. I'll put all the information of the commands in the description below. You can follow just all the commands if you want to. I did all the research in a, <laughs> it, was, it was a lot of work. Um, use different forums, different uh, website, different people, different videos, different. I just try to gather everything together. And with the current version, it works like that. Um, one other thing, uh, what I figured out, as soon as you update this existing Raspberry or Victron uh, firmware version, you will lose all the settings. Um, there will be a video coming out pretty soon where I show you how you can. Um, save all the files before doing the firmware update because I think that's something you don't want to repeat every single time. Uh, I will need more research on that and then I will post the video as soon as I have everything together as well as the, the touch screen or the display, which one is the best um, possible display you could use maybe because um, it should also work, to be honest, it should also work with the brightness control um, and those kind of things. It's something when you have it in a van installed, for example, you want to make sure that the brightness adjusts you know, good and all that uh, goes into standby within a 30 seconds or whatever you change the settings to. And um, those things are important. Um, so far for me, it didn't work. So those are kind of some bugs or not correct um, configurations that I figured out. So I have to work on that as a little bit more as well. But as I mentioned, it looks like that the display has also a big impact in that. So I, I want to get another one. So that's all for now. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. I try to answer them if I can. If not, I'll let you know. Um, yeah, and hit the sub subscribe button and also uh, like the video if you liked it or if you want to see more stuff like that. Thanks for watching. Tschüss!